Okay, without using array reverse function, that's that's gonna be tricky, so don't do that. Please reverse loop from the end to the beginning. Remember in the last one we did something similar, so don't be scared about it. You just have to copy something like this and, and use this on your advantage, to your advantage. So you wanna loop from the end to the beginning the whole array and print all the items from the console as you go. So basically it wants us to print from the beginning to the end. So the, from the end to the beginning, my bad. So from Annie to Esmeralda. So here, um, again, it would be always the same. You know, you do let i equals zero. Actually, that I'm already wrong, right? Because we don't want to start at zero. We want to start at the top. So it would be my sample array dot length minus one. That's the top. Remember about the minus one, because if you don't remember, it's going to be out of bounds. It's going to tell you it's undefined. It's going to give you a lot of trouble. The last position, it's always the length minus one, because the array starts at zero, not at one. So it decreases in one all the positions. Then we want to continue as long as i is more or equal than zero. I do want to put the equal here because I want to include the position zero because if I don't, Esmeralda will not be on the console log that I'm gonna that I'm about to do. And then as long as uh, I'm my bad, and then i is equal to i minus one. So basically, you are console logging my sample array. Because maybe you're thinking, ah, oh, I'm gonna just gonna console log i. Well, i is the position, so no, you cannot just console log that. You know, you will be console logging a bunch of numbers. You want to console log the items, not the positions. And how do you retrieve the item from a position? We set it up at the beginning of the reports of the exercises. We said let um, item it's equal to my sample array in the position i. That's how you get the item from the array. So console log, log item. And you have Annie and Esmeralda, and it matches our output here. So if we test, it should match. Let's see. And there you go.